Hello everyone. Welcome to new video of Whiteout Survival. In my legendary gear video, I showed a glimpse of new adventure. Today, we are going to reach our destination. Finally, Daybreak Island is here. I will show you what is inside the island and what we have to do in the island. Let's jump in our video. Hurry! We've got a breakthrough! The warmth and the vibrant atmosphere. We've got to be right this time. Is that the Tree of Life? But it seems frozen. Beef, we can make use of our heaters. Let's hurry and thaw it. I never thought we'd be able to walk the earth again without needing a heater. An island full of life. I can't think of any reason not to settle here away from conflicts. We should build a lumber camp to clear up some space. The forest here is a bit too dense. Don't forget to claim your wood regularly to clear up the lumber camp and use it to refine for life essence. Those are the condensation of excess life energy produced by the Tree of Life. Can be priceless. Please also remember to upgrade your lumber camp for better efficiency. The Tree of Life itself is the most important source for life essence. Extract them from its root and branches. The tree can only stabilize a certain amount of life essence. Any access will be lost forever. So don't ever forget to collect them. A shop has opened on the island. Use your life essence to exchange for all sorts of items. New items will be shipped here each week. You may also ask them to recycle unwanted decorations here. Now that you've got the hang of it, use your imagination and build the home you've always wanted. Let me explain you what the Hedi said. The Hedi said, there is a tree of life in this island. So this island does not require furnace, like our main base. We have to clear the forest using lumber mill. There is a green color stone obtained in this island. This is called life essence. This is the currency of this island. We can get life essence by clearing woods. Moreover, tree of life is also a source of life essence. We have to use life essence to upgrade buildings. Life essence can be used in shop also. There is another shop of life essence. Click here to get reward for exploring Daybreak Island. The special thing in this island is we can move buildings as our choice, we can customize the city. Let's check how to upgrade the Tree of Life. We have to collect Prosperity Bonus, which can be obtained by either placing new decorations or by upgrading decorations. I just placed a campfire, so I got 50 Prosperity Bonus. I still need 100 Bonus, so I will place some more building. Keep in mind, every building will not give you bonus. Some building are only for decorations, Click here to get reward from Daybreak Chapter. For 7 days, you will get 7 rewards. Some parts of the island are covered with fog, so we can expect future update in there. Click on this chest to get some life essence. Come, I found something. Must be for There must be more treasures on the island. Let's clear the trees in our way first. 
If we clear more wotes, we can get more life essence or other chest. There are four primary ways to get life essence. They are Tree of Life, Lumber Mill, Treasure and Eli Assist. You can visit your Eli City and help them to grow Tree of Life. Seems like my allies have not developed their Tree of Life yet. I am trying to decorate something here. There are some buildings which can give you prosperity bonus. I am getting bonus for building fine mine. Now I have bonus and life essence to upgrade my tree of life. In new level, new decorations will be unlocked. Moreover, you will get some bonus, I will show them soon. There is also option for retrieve if you don't like any building. Upgrading the tree of life is time taking, you have to wait to get enough life essence. After that, you have to use life essence in shop to get building. And these buildings will give you prosperity bonus. After that, you can upgrade any building. Here you need to keep in mind. Every decoration has type limit. If you have multiple building of same type, if type limit is 5, only 5 building of that declaration will take effect, and decorations offering greater bonus will be given priority. The bonus will be affected by the type limit. As you can see, there is type limit on every building. You can see how many of them are active. In Island Storehouse, you can find various building, and they also have categories like Rare, Epic. You can click on Collect button to collect your life essence. Now let's check what are the bonus we are getting. For upgrading each level in Tree of Life, we will get some bonus related to attack, defense and others. For now, there are 10 levels in Tree of Life. You can click here to check how many bonus are active now. There is no special trick in shop if you spend more life essence. You will get more prosperity bonus, like 1000 life essence gives 50 prosperity bonus. 2000 life essence gives 100 prosperity bonus. I have no special trick here. You can purchase building as your choice and customize your city. If you ask my opinion on this update, I can confirm. This update will give more power to spenders. Because there is bonus stat in Tree of Life and it will directly give power to spenders. Free to play players can come here and build city of their choice. But spenders will get benefit from this update. I also want to say the design of the building is of medieval age, where we are in modern age. For this video, I am showing these. If I can clear more woods and design a better city, I will come with another video on Daybreak Island. I will also show Allies City and how to help them to grow. That is all for this video. To watch more, subscribe.